Now that we have the jumpsuit built, I want to create kind of a sash going around the midsection of our character. And we're just going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to use the geometry from the jumpsuit that we created. And so we're going to make sure that we're on that subtool. And then I'm just going to mask off the area that, where I want that sash to be. And so I want it to come up pretty high and it actually doesn't have to go straight across, but just kind of draw where you want it to be. And I'm just going to come and come around here. It's probably going to go up and over the butt there kind of make a straight line coming across. So think of this as kind of fabric that's wrapped a couple of times around. And so I'll just make sure that the lines kind of line up there. We can also, if we hold down control and alt, we can take away some of the masking there to make it nice and straight. We'll do the same thing here where maybe it's needs to come up a little bit more. And let's just kind of straighten this out a little bit here. And then once we have our masking, we're going to just use the same technique that we used for the jumpsuit itself. All right. So maybe something like that. And so now make sure that it's all masked. We're going to come down in the subtool palette to extract. And here let's make our thickness just a little bit more. So I'm going to set this to 0.03. Let's extract that and see how it looks. Well, that's way too big. I'm going to go with 0.01, make it a little bit thicker. I'll turn off double. I want to make sure my smoothing is set pretty high and I'm going to open up this circle right here and make that nice and smooth. Let's go ahead and accept that. So now we have a new sub tool for our sash. You can see it there. We can kind of smooth off the edges a little bit. And since it's still masked, it's not going to affect the rest of it. So we can kind of smooth off those edges, unmask it. You can use Dynamesh if you want to. I don't know that we necessarily uh, need it. So I'm going to go ahead and just start to sculpt some on here and we can always Dynamesh it later. So I'm going to get the Damien standard brush. And then you can start to define like areas where you've got the, the cloth wrapping around and I'm going to make the intensity a little bit higher, the draw size a little bit smaller. And then you can start to come around and add those lines. You will want to continue them from the other side though. So we'll just continue this around and let's continue this one. And they can kind of be bunched up more on the back if you want. Come in here. They might be more bunched up in the back. So something along those lines where you get the kind of the idea that it's overlapping. We can also use our pinch brush. So we go to pinch and that will squeeze these kind of troughs together that we created. Do the same thing on the back, kind of pinch those together. And then, you know, if there's certain areas that you don't like, you can go back to move. Kind of just move this up a little bit. And we're going to add texture to this in painter. So we will have other details on here. You just have to think about what kind of detail do you want to add in the model versus what you want to add in the texture. And then I think I want a little bit of the wrinkling maybe, or the seam to come back the other direction. And let's get a smaller draw size here. So maybe something like that. Again, doesn't need to be exact. So once we've got that, the next thing that we want to do is I'm going to separate the head from the rest of the body because we have this jumpsuit on here we don't actually need this head connected to the rest of the body that will allow us to get more resolution on the head so that we can sculpt some more detail on it because right now it's still really really rough so we're going to do that next